In this lesson, we are going to examine the relationship between elasticity and total revenue. Total revenue is our price times quantity equals total revenue. As you can see in this graph, we have an upward sloping supply curve, and we also have a downward sloping demand curve. It's not perfectly elastic, it's not perfectly horizontal, and it's not perfectly inelastic. It's not completely vertical, it's somewhere in between. So let's see what happens when price increases and decreases. Well first, let's take a look at our total revenue. At our equilibrium price of five, an equilibrium quantity of 10, total revenue is going to equal 50. When our price decreases from 5 to 4, what will happen to our quantity demanded? Say our quantity demanded increased from 10 to 15 units. Well, we know the law of demand says that when prices go down, quantity demanded will increase. Our total revenue would be 4 times 15 equals 60. So we know our total revenue increased from our equilibrium starting point of 50. Well, what happens when our prices increase from 5 to 6? Our equilibrium quantity of 10, let's say, goes down to 5. Well, we know that when prices go up, quantity demanded goes down. So our total revenue would be 6 times 5 equals 30. Our total revenue is less from our starting point of 50. So what can we conclude about total revenue and elastic demand? Well, total revenue will increase when prices go down if demand is elastic. And total revenue will decrease when prices go up if demand is elastic. In this example, we are going to examine the relationship between elasticity and total revenue. Once again, we have our upward sloping supply curve and we have a downward sloping demand curve. This demand curve looks noticeably different than the previous example. It's not perfectly inelastic, but it definitely resembles more of an inelastic demand curve than a more of a horizontal elastic demand curve. So visually by looking at this we should already know that we're dealing with inelastic demand. We first have to find our total revenue, our equilibrium total revenue, our price is 5 our quantity is 10, so our total revenue is 50. Let's say prices go down from 5 to 4.
and our quantity demanded increases from 10 to 11 units. Well, we know the law of demand says when prices go down, quantity demanded will increase. Let's take a look at total revenue. 4 times 11 equals 44. So our total revenue actually decreased from our starting point of 50. Well, what happens when our prices increase from our equilibrium price of 5 to 6? Bring this down. The quantity demanded goes down from 10 to, let's say, 9 units. The law of demand says when prices go up, quantity demanded will go down. Our total revenue with this price would be 6 times 9 which equals 54. Our total revenue increased from our equilibrium total revenue of 50. So we can conclude that total revenue increases when prices increase if demand is inelastic. And total revenue will decrease when prices go down if demand is inelastic.